tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break things. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Chill, I'm just looking for some deodorant. Fries! The French fries! Sounds good to me. That's all I want. Me too. About three times a day. But Nina won't let me have them. Hey! Get out of there! I told you, I need some stick. I don't use deodorant, caveman. <laughs> Maybe you should reconsider that choice. I don't smell anything. Now that's the thing. You never can smell your own stink. If there's hair, beware. The pit action is starting. <laughs> oh, Josh! It's an emergency, so chill. Do you have any deodorant? As in that sticky green stuff you roll under your sweaty arms every morning? Yeah. I'm nine, remember? Mother Nature spares certain indignities for a few years between diapers and puberty. <laughs> Mom! And then it was like I was stuck to the floor and nothing I did could make her stop laughing. It's so obvious. Really? <sighs> uh-huh. Nina has supreme power. Every day she gets you down. You will forever be a target for her misguided cruelty. Forever? For as long as you let her. But... Alden, the perfect diversion no matter what the topic. What's up? Not much. Me either. Cool. You going to school? Uh-huh. <clears throat> Listen, I, I thought you might want to come to the opening of my parents' new restaurant on Saturday. There's going to be lots of food and, I don't know, maybe we can go rollerblading after or something. Oh! oh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> no problem. So all, all of what you just said, 
Sounds great. Okay. See ya. Life was unbelievable. One minute my day was being consumed by a Nina nightmare, the next minute an Alden dream was coming true. Did he just ask you out? Mm-hmm. Ah, <sighs> finally. Now, I'm just as excited about this date as you are, honey. Sort of. But there's a limit on how much I think you should spend on a new outfit. Thanks, Mom. And don't worry, we'll take the bus home. Thanks, Dr. Spitz. Sharon, honey, are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Gotta be dressy for the restaurant opening part, and then be able to move into sporty for the rollerblading half of the date. Right. So, do you mean sporty functional or sporty casual? I mean somewhere in the middle with the dressy part in there, too. Fancy dressy or sexy dressy? This is impossible! Why would you say that? Arrgh. Finding the perfect outfit to meet all my requirements was like a disaster waiting to happen. In fact, when I finally stopped to think about it, I remembered that for me, so was rollerblading. Maria! Don't let go! So what's the deal? Are you helping to greet customers at the fancy opening or what? I hope not, but I keep worrying that I'm gonna do something dumb and mess up. I think you're taking this way too seriously. And you're not taking it seriously enough. Like, what if I forget a sister's names? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Okay, the older one is Lily, I know that. The middle one is Daisy, and the younger one is, um, um... Rhododendron? Violet! So what's Alden? Some kind of weed name? Ah! Help! I can't stop! Just, just put your heel down! Ah! Oh, that'll really impress Alden. One more time. Please, Maria, you're, you're putting innocent lives at risk. Never had I been so determined to overcome my weaknesses. All I could think of was being the perfect date. I had the will. I had the sister's names. I had the dress. Success felt inches away. Wow! Whoa. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the name of Alden's family restaurant was Pick Up Pita. That would have been the first clue not to overdress. Alden, we need three tabbouleh, two hummus, and two baba ganoush with hot sauce on the side. You must be Sharon. Welcome. Come, come. I've made a plate just for you. Hmm? Now you'll give your honest opinion, won't you? Like a taste tester. <laughs> to clear the sinuses. Ow! <gasps> she, she likes, likes it. it. Falafel balls, ready for pickup. Alden, baby, your new voice is giving me the shivers. Hey, you and the pink tutu, can you help me here? Sure. You must be, um, Lily. No, Daisy. But once you're done chopping these, can you help Violet clean up that tahini spill at table 12? Grilled veggie, pick up. Hey, Alden, when are you cutting that first CD? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, who's supposed to be chopping up the zucchini? I'm still missing my garnishes. I had so many questions. Was this family crazy or was I just feeling extra sensitive? What was going on with Alden's voice? And finally, our first date's always this much hard work. Hey, let's say we get out of here. Music to my ears. 
Hey, wait up! I don't really know how to slow down. It finally felt like the date was really starting. With Alden holding my hand, I felt nothing else could go wrong. Uh, Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just my stomach. <clears throat> uh, maybe you should sit down. I didn't know what was happening. One minute it was like we were in heaven. The next I was seriously worried about finding a toilet. Could it be food poisoning from the Jones's restaurant? Maybe we should go back to the pick pita My mom could make you some hot soup or something. No! Uh, then do you want me to take you home? Uh, um, I don't think anyone's home. Well then, um... Ow. That's it! I'm calling 911! Uh, it's okay! It's okay! No, it's okay! Help! I think my friend's having an appendicitis attack. And tell Adam I apologize for calling him a caveman. And tell Josh he can have my dinky car collection. He always wanted that. Don't worry. Sharon's going to be just fine. If you haven't had the cramps before, they can take you by surprise. The cramps? Yes, that's what I said. <clears throat> uh, is that a life-threatening illness or something? Of course not. Most girls get them at some time or another during their menstruation cycle. It's just too bad your sister had to get them with her first, period. His sister? Now, there are enough sanitary napkins to last a few days. Of course, we've already shown her how to use them. No! Ah! Ah! <gasps> oh my, moody too. You're going to have your hands full at your house. Could there ever be a more embarrassing moment in my entire life? I mean, what had I done that was so bad that I deserved this? I mean, now that my first date with Alden was a complete and utter disaster, I just wanted it to end. Fast. Hey, sis, wait up. going oh well I can take you no I'll take a cab no problem thanks I don't know much about these things being a guy and everything but when my sisters get there and you know they do all sorts of things to feel better oh maybe I'll just take the bus um well just in case this helps Lily eats chocolate sorbet with the whole time and only with a fork Daisy blasts Sarah McLaughlin at top volume and then cries a lot and Violet, uh, Violet, she just stays the same. You never know. You might find that useful when you go home. Sure. Taxi! Taxi! And those pad things? They used to make great mattresses for action figures, like when you wanted to have them camping out or something. I'll remember that. <laughs> Just because you got your time of the month? Shut up! You'll never know what this is like! Sounds pretty cool to me. If you get to ride in an ambulance, I want it too! Well, good luck, peanut head. Only girls get it. Not fair! I'm home! Is anyone else here? Mom! Sharon got her period! Oh. Honey, is it true? Yeah, we had to force it out of her after her third plate of fries. Of course. The cravings for greasy foods. Sharon, my baby, how are you feeling? Tell me everything. Mother, please! My little girl has become a woman. This is so exciting. Wait right there, okay? I want to get my camera. Are you insane? But this is such... You're right. This is such a private experience. Oh, honey. 
I'm sorry. Is there anything I need to go over with you? No, Mom. Your quarterly review of the facts of life have prepared me well. Excellent. Oh my gosh! I just remembered. How was your date? Don't ask. You know, now that you're dating, maybe we should go over those facts again. Mother! I can't take it! Okay, okay. I get the hint. Could one person endure any more pain in one day? After suffering massive humiliation, not to mention killer cramps, the last thing I could handle was my mother trying to be a good mother. What's the holdup in there? You feeling sick or something? No. So why won't you come out? Because I just can't face him. <sighs> Boys aren't supposed to know you have your period. So, Brace Face finally got the big visit from Aunt Flo. What took so long? Shut up! Yeah, get lost, Harper. Jeez, Nina, that's funny. I never heard you mention getting a visit from your Aunt Flo either. <laughs> Go, Allison. So what if he told the other guys? I don't know. Do you think he would? So I tried calling you all weekend. Where were you? I told you, doofus. My parents had their big restaurant opening. I had to help out. Drag. And then I hung a bit with Sharon. We did the rollerblading thing. Excellent. Did you sound like that the whole time? Yeah. I couldn't control it. I was going crazy. Slow death, man. You better keep your trap shut for a while. Otherwise, he'll scare the ladies away. <laughs> <laughs> was it my imagination, or was Alden trying to get as far away from me as possible? Hey, you know, you can get out of gym if you're having your time of the month. Really? That's great, because I hate gymnastics, especially the vault. Me too, I always go for the trampoline. Your hair looks good today. Was Allison Malitsky, Nina Harper's best friend, actually being nice to me? Is that possible? Thanks. Uh, is it true that Nina doesn't have her period yet? Yep. Look at her. She's totally bummed you got yours before her. She might never get over it. Wow. You go first. It started to occur to me that I was entering some kind of new girls club. And the person letting me in was Mother Nature herself. I didn't get it. Why was I first and not Nina? You know what? Allison just told me that Nina's totally jealous of me getting my period first. Isn't that wild? And if she wants it so bad, there must be some kind of upside to it. Don't you think? <laughs> well, if there is, I'm still in no hurry to find out. Hey, look at the Jones man. He's totally showing off for you. He is? <clears throat> Didn't you see how he just looked up to see if you were watching? But he hasn't said a word to me all day. Actions speak louder than words. I talked to Mr. Hopoff, and he said he'll give you a special pass if you can't handle gym today. For once, I had a legitimate reason to get out of gym. But somehow, wussing out felt so lame. No, I'm okay, thanks. Alton might have known that I was different now, but I didn't want him to think that I was a wimp because of it. Sharon, are you okay? I'm fine. Really. Just don't call an ambulance. <laughs> Deal. That night I had another wild dream, with me leading Maria up a mountain, which doesn't make much sense. Nice, huh? I think this part was supposed to be symbolic of Mother Nature. 
and all its weirdness. Being in this new club felt good and bad, all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How could all these big deal things be happening to my body? And then boom, it's like, so what? Life goes on, big deal over. Except for my mother, of course, who's still trying to capture this week on film. I mean, even if I was technically a woman now, what did that really mean? I still couldn't vote or stay out past 10. And as we all know, I've still only had one date in my life. I'm not even sure that one counted. Wow, I think that was the deepest dream I've ever had. And by the way, did you notice Nina didn't make a single appearance? <laughs> 